hello and welcome uh, to the new video uh, in last video I explained the overview of service now uh, which includes uh, why service now uh, service now benefits service now platform service now architecture and supported browsers <coughs> in this video I will explain about the user interface of uh, service now platform uh, which includes uh, the uh, UI navigation, ways to interact and uh, core UI components, common UI elements and branding overview. So let's start with UI navigation. Uh, in UI navigation you can navigate to the different application and modules, favorite apps. Uh, let's, uh, let's navigate to the instance and then uh, we can uh, discover all these things on our personal developer instance so the first thing is application and modules uh, this all uh, navigator shows the uh, all the application and uh, modules uh, which uh, we have access according to our role so in this all the application and modules are shown and the next is favorite uh, if we talk about the favorite tab then it contains uh, any application or module which uh, we make the favorite it shows in this favorite list uh, like if uh, I uh, select this agent schedule and then save then you can see this this is added in favorite tab and uh, I can simply whenever I need I simply click on this and then navigate to this agent schedule then next is history in the history uh, it shows all the UI pages which I recently visited and uh, uh, this sh this tab shows the history and if we move to the next then this tab shows all the workspaces which uh, uh, in which I am added and I have access to that workspaces then the next is contextual apple the contextual apple basically shows the uh, uh, my current uh, page uh, that on which page I am uh, currently working like if I open the incident records then it shows that I am on the incident uh, by clicking this icon I can also add this uh, in favorite so next is global search in global search uh, and uh, in navigators the difference between global search and navigator is that uh, we can search globally in the global search like for example if I want to open this uh, specific incident then if I uh, open this uh, through this navigator then first I have to open this incident then in incident I can uh, search for this and then I can open through this but if I go through the application navigator I simply paste I simply paste uh, the number incident number and press enter then it simply redirect me to the record and then uh, next icon is global icon which shows the uh, you can say the application and update set default update set uh, so uh, update set is a very important thing in uh, for a de a de developers uh, perspective because it contains all the configuration and all the changes which are made in the instance are captured in the update set and then we can move these updates uh, with the help of update set from one instance to another instance then the next is discussion and help and uh, notification and uh, then come this uh, which shows uh, this menu shows uh, the login user name like system admin I'm a system admin and it's showing my name my picture and from here I can open my profile preferences impersonate user elevate logout uh, so, uh, uh, we can discuss this impersonate and elevate role in detail in upcoming videos so 
let's move to the uh, presentation then after UI navigation we have uh, ways to interact so there are different ways to interact uh, with service now uh, like uh, uh, we can interact uh, by uh, you can say native UI which uh, I just recently opened uh, and shown my personal uh, developer instance it is native UI which is also known as next experience uh, unified navigation next is mobile interface ServiceNow provides uh, uh, three uh, mobile applications like ServiceNow Agent, No Mobile, ServiceNow Onboarding. A user can access uh, uh, ServiceNow through mobile these mobile applications. And the next is Portal Interface. Uh, Portal provides a user interface, user-friendly interface, uh, and it provides self-service uh, experience, and it is advanced UI of platform. Then the next is workspace. Workspace is a single pen view that tier one agents use to respond to all task types, view full context uh, of issues and get relevant recommendation to resolve issues. And then uh, the next is now learning platform uh, which is uh, a learning and uh, recognition uh, portal that gives learners access of training content, certifications uh, badges and hands-on practices. Uh, then the next is ServiceNow community. Uh, ServiceNow community uh, connect, engage and collaborate with the employees, customers, partners and prospects. Uh, user can get quick response to their issues by posting questions, review blog blogs. Then the next is uh, ServiceNow global events. Uh, Glob uh, ServiceNow hosts uh, various events uh, such as uh, user conference, webinars and training sessions through ServiceNow global events. And the last is ServiceNow developer site. Ser uh, ServiceNow developer sites provide developer with resources to learn, build and deploy application on ServiceNow platform. So the next topic is core UI components. So ServiceNow has three basic core components like uh, banner frame, content frame and application navigator. So let's explore these UI components on instance. So this is my instance and mm, this is the banner frame uh, which contain the uh, uh, service now icon or image then uh, this contain uh, all navigators favorite tab history workspaces contextual app bill global search and then this application and update set icon then discussion and this menu this all is included in banner frame then the next one is content frame if we talk about the content frame this area is known as content frame because anything which we open in uh, service now like any record any table or anything it is shown in the content frame then the last is application navigator so this is the application navigator where we can navigate uh, between different applications and different modules uh, it the navigator includes the favorite and history tab also we can also pin or unpin the navigation so uh, these are the core ui components of service now then uh, if we talk about the common UI elements then it contains filters, uh, UI action buttons, list control, tree picker, list collector, uh, activity stream and uh, condition builder, uh, manage attachment. Uh, so let's explore these uh, on instance. So the first one is filter. If we open some records like incident
then we can search any record by applying the filters which contain uh, the operators and conditions by using the different operators and condition you can filter the specific record so this is the filter then UA action and button like this this is the UA action or button if we click on this it perform uh, an action uh, and opens a new form to add an incident list controls so this is the list control the list control show the views uh, filters uh, we if we uh, save any filter then it is shows in this then group by we can group by records by uh, from the the here and then show in this we can show the total number of record like if I select 10 rows per page then it only displays 10 records on this page then refresh list and create favorite and uh, then the list collector and uh, if we check this this is the personalized list uh, in which you can personalize the list like uh, you can show or hide different fields according to our ease uh, then the uh, if we talk about the activity stream then under any specific record there is the uh, activity stream like uh, this is this is the activity stream uh, it shows the list of entries uh, conservations such as uh, general fields comments and work notes that display in the task records and sidebar conservation activity stream activity streams are available in core UI so uh, and we have condition builders uh, these condition builders we use in the uh, uh, like ACLs to apply some uh, condition uh, it is similar to uh, uh, filters but it is a uh, different thing and then if you talk about the tree picker uh, the tree picker is the special reference lookup that you can add as an attribute to the form uh, tree picker you can add the tree picker to the classical environment or to the workspaces so these are the common UI elements of service now so the last is branding overview so if we talk about the branding then uh, branding is something you need to configure your instance to identify as uh, per your company uh, like if you are working for an organization then how would you know that the service now instance is associated with your company to identify this uh, you should have a logo the instance name so that you can recognize your company instance maybe the color theme as well so branding can be done in service now uh, in various ways uh, so let me show uh, you how exactly you can do this So uh, uh, in branding uh, we can customize page header, navigation, tab, take their colors and all these things. So let's uh, navigate to the instance that how we can uh, navigate to the uh, branding, or uh, navigate to the basic UI configuration uh, to change the branding. So we simply type UI 16 and if we click on this then in UI 16 uh, in this you can configure the page header caption uh, browser tab title uh, time zone icon and uh, date format time format header color banner text color and these all are the option you can configure here you can also configure the theme and simply you can configure from here and then click on the save then the changes apply applies to the branding of your instance so basically uh, this is all uh, uh, fr from the today's session and uh, 
before I uh, wrap up let's quickly review uh, what I have covered in this session I explored the user interface by UI navigation uh, ways of uh, interaction core UI components core UI elements and branding overview so that's all uh, for this session and in my upcoming video I will cover the roles and rights management so that's all for now thank you